but more, more or less expected that Italy was going to pull out. Now, the timing may not be very fortunate in the sense that, you know, it just happened at the, at the time when uh, Ursula von der Leyen and Charles Michel were reaching uh, Beijing. But it also shows the, the, the different mood that is taking place now in Europe, really, over the past four years. If you think about it, in 2019, when Italy joined the BRI, it's also the, the year when European leaders decided to, to call China uh, a partner, a competitor, and a systemic rival. And ever since, um, you know, we've been talking about de-risking, not decoupling, but de-risking, and also uh, reassessing uh, the ties with that country in a more, on a more balanced way. So I think that's what the, the, the leaders of the European Union were trying to, to get at during this meeting over the past uh, day. Xi Jinping has said that uh, the EU should not engage in confrontation. And yet, in September, the EU announced it was launching an investigation into China's state support for uh, the EV uh, makers. This is, without a doubt, a major irritant for uh, Beijing. Do you feel that the EU is moving in a more protectionist direction? And could this lead to deeper trade tensions? I, I certainly agree with you that it's a it's a major irritant. Uh, every time I, I, I meet or speak to Chinese colleagues, that's the point they would raise first. But there are many, many irritants on the EU side, including lack of market access in China and and you know the Ukraine war and things like this. But on on to answer your question more precisely on the EV, it is true that there is a contradiction uh, in the EU. On the one hand, we want to have a more green car uh, market. On the other hand, um, you know, one needs to protect industrial jobs and, uh, and, and perhaps prevent Chinese products to, um, uh, you know, um, overload uh, the, the, the European uh, market. In a, in a situation where, you know, everybody's going to be driving an electric car in the next uh, uh, 40 years and you know we don't want to kill the car industry of the of the european countries